Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the second you released them from that, first they felt lost, like this is really unorganised, we don't know how to fit into this, we don't know how to work with this, you know, what about the weekends, what about the this day, what about the sports, you know, like sports is on Thursday, how can we do observations on a Thursday? But when they broke free from that, they started to observe and to really see, and it no longer mattered whether the whether Google said it was spring, they were waiting for to see the poor wanana. They were waiting to see that. Once they see that, they know. Oh, once they see the kofi flowering here, they know. Sometimes they'd see a kofi flowering, and it's flowering all up the whack. You know, like, what's going on? Two things. First things now they've learned is, oh, that kofi is probably from somewhere else. And they probably bought it at a nursery that was got grown from a seed that was like from Coromandel. <laughs> and so what we know now is we should find out where this is from because then we'll know, oh, Uncle Joe, <laughs> your fathers have probably got fat kamai right now because you'll place Coromandel kofi that's planted up here and Hokianga is pumping. You know, so it's interesting how quickly they start to move from those kinds of observations. Ayla was just said, what, we, what was the recent, the recent one that you've just said? There's a, so now we've got a recurring cycle. What we were looking for is these rangatahi go out and they see very differently. And we're really disciplined about not saying anything. We just let them go out and see what they see. They're not isolating. I, I've got a science background myself. And one of the, I think one of the hardest things to, be, to, to get out of the habit of doing is isolating the thing that you're observing. You know what? That's what we do. Eh? We go out and we take them all out of the environment. We count them. We measure them. We mm. check them. We push on them. Yeah, we work, you know, what have they been eating? We do all this stuff. And then we sort of put them back in. And, and the goal that comes from being there in the environment with these things and understanding what are all the living things that are connected to that just by observing. The other thing that we've learned is you cannot do that by going there every now and again. If you're measuring changes in the environment, you, you, there are so many variables. But Ayla's just, we all know from Papa Reriata's teaching, from his kōrero to kuiho, we knew at the beginning. Tangaroa kio kio, what are the talk about? What are the things? Rats in the daylight, flower in the daylight, eels in the daylight. Yeah. So this is the piece of information. He's like, okay, you guys, so tangaroa kio kio. Without looking at any app or, or anything else, if you can't see the moon and there's all the other tohu are missing, if you see the kiori walking around brazenly in the daylight, just sort of eyeballing you out. And if you're a father, we, I grew up rurally, so I know this. I'm like, man, sometimes you're like, what? <laughs> you know, like, did someone lay some poison? You know, I'm like, no, they did it. Well, why are they doing? This, you know, they're shameless. Look at them walking around. You know, it's like we've got visitors coming. We cannot have these rats out in the day. So, if you've got important visitors that you want to impress in high places, do not invite them to your farm on Tangaroa Kio Kio. If you've got any rodents, they will be out in number. So, these rangatahi were there. They were looking for kiore in the daylight, they were looking for pātiki in the daylight, and they were looking for tuna in the daylight. We're talking pātiki. So, we um, live and farm at a place called Onoki. And can you tell us what you saw, Ayla? Um, the parts that you like were coming swimming up, like looking at my thing, just real social, like, yeah. you. So the flounders, and, and my son is a, like, a hunter, man. He's like, you, you want, if you're on an island and you want to get stranded with him, I can tell you, you know that it grows stuff and kills stuff and eats stuff. And, so he's down there. He's down there all the time, floundering. So they're not normally like that. They know, get out of there if they see Timira coming. They see those red bands, they're <laughs> cool. They're cool. <laughs> but Tangaroa Kio Kio, they're all the way up. And so these, these um, rangatahi come back, I tell them, look, check this out. And they're showing us their iPhone videos, you know. And but these pātiki are coming all the way up. Now they've seen them on Tangaroa Kio Kio so, so regularly that Ayla's like, oh, this one's that one, this one, they got names. And I was like, do not take your brother to Onoki on Tangaroa Kio Kio. So now I say, son, rāhui for you. Tangaroa Kio Kio, you are not allowed in Onoki because he'll be like, woohoo, he'll feed the tiger. He'll feed everybody. Um, anyway, so after a 
few phases of observation have gone through. Then Ayla pipes up, we're sort of talking about things. But oh yeah, da, 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 we're talking about new, you know, new learnings. And then Ayla's like, oh yeah, and the poraka. And we're like, what? He <laughs> said, well yeah, in the night time. So we've been focusing on the daytime tōpū, the things that we're going to see in daytime. In the night time, on Tangaroa Kyo Kyo, all the frogs come out. I mean, heaps of them. You know, and we're like, oh. And you, the, do you remember the first yes. you, I remember he was like, oh, okay, so now we've got nighttime tōpū for Tangaroa Kyo Kyo, just because they're watching. And then he says to me, I wonder what's, what, what, why that is. And then just now Ava's like, oh yes, that's right, that was the new observation. Now we've had two, now she's got a second Matuti Hana coming through, you know. Second one, she's like, oh, now we know when the frogs are all out, the pukeko are mating. Oh. <laughs> so that's the new one. So now we're like, oh, okay, now our pukeko, I don't know about your guys' pukeko, probably eating cherry tomatoes in your guys' garden. <laughs> our ones, into the frogs, into them. Like the frogs. So now we're like, oh, now it's all starting to make sense. So we're making more and more and more connections. The beautiful thing about it is that when they used to be driving like this, and sometimes they still are, especially if we're out of our area at home, that, that you know, they're on their phones and stuff. Now they're like, you know, oh, look at those clouds. Oh, look at that water, you know. <laughs> sort of. Sort of like meerkats at the window, you know, <laughs> sort of observing stuff. And it's powerful because you, you, you relearn that our payao is an incredible teacher. Mm -hmm. It teaches you much more than a template and a system and everything else. Mm -hmm. And it also teaches us that the people who are living in those places will have intergenerational knowledge that can be hugely valuable if you care for it in the right way. Mm. So yeah, no, I, I mean, that, that, they've been doing amazing things. Yeah, I'm yeah. So one of the things we, we always, it's hard not to do is to try and not to give direction, mate. And rather than just giving a broad sort of guideline that they leave it to their own thing. It's sort of brilliant stuff that's coming through. Not just with them, but also with our other kaitiro uh, tiro with the, just down the road here, and some of the other mahi too that we're doing in the mahi there. Yeah, but we're getting flashed now, okay. We've got a drone school going to be starting up soon and got 360 degree cameras that are coming up on Friday. <laughs> we're getting, we've got underwater drones as well, so we're getting naughty, and getting lots of toys to play around with, which uh, our tupuna never had. Uh, but what uh, these anatahi, are observing now, hopefully it's going to provide a pathway into the future to answer some of the questions. That why on the Tangaroa Kyo Kyo uh, do those, uh, do those pātiki come out in the daylight? Why on the Tangaroa Kyo Kyo does the tuna come out in the daylight? And why on the Tangaroa Kyo Kyo do you see rats in the daylight that look at you and give you the fingers and just walk and carry on their own stuff, eh? Those are questions yet to be answered. Hey, and it might get close to our tupuna understanding, our tupuna quarter around hihiri, around that pure energy uh, that's required for growth and for everything else. Hey. And so somewhere, somewhere, and I don't think it's uh, triggered from on earth here, but somewhere in the universe, these fish and these uh, rodents and all the birds and the manu are actually reading something that we can't see. And that space is the space that our tupuna were brilliant at. Mm -hmm. It's called the Matamaro and the Matahuna. Uh, the, the, the hidden faces. They were brilliant at detecting hidden faces. Eh? Mm -hmm. And so that's hoping that we'll get there somewhere because that knowledge has been knocked out of us over the generations. Mm -hmm. And now there's only a few, a handful of people now who can do it mm -hmm. and, and go into that space. Because when you're tutoring, tutu -tutu looking at Tayo, you've got to go with those hidden faces mm -hmm. too. The sensory stuff, eh? Mm -hmm. cool. Anyway, I'm taking up Sheridan's time. Mm -hmm. So, one quick part, eh? Any quick part, eh? Yeah. Um, just the last uh, couple of weeks, I've seen a couple of times Bokai um, and Hariki keep both flowering <laughs> cut out side by side, and I don't remember seeing them cross over like that. Yeah. I was just wondering if you've got any. Like, yeah, yeah, just no.
¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es eso?